guys, it's AMZ Princess Anna here. It's day 14. Today's topic is really difficult to talk about. So I'm going to let someone else do most of the talking. But first, here is the video from last year. 30% of babies born with AMC will die in the newborn period because they have a lethal genetic type or have severe central nervous system dysfunction. What's the central nervous system? Oh, the central nervous system is um, the part of our body that controls the brain and the spine. So it controls things like talking and walking, but it also controls things like breathing. So if the baby is born and can't breathe because there's a problem with the central nervous system, then it can't survive without breathing. I'll see you tomorrow. Please meet my friends, Robert and Michelle. Hi, we're Robert and Michelle Mockridge. We're Olivia's parents. Olivia was born January 19th, 2016. That day they uh, rushed Michelle in for an emergency C-section. We, till that day, we didn't know there was anything wrong with um, Olivia. Um, the doctor held Olivia to my wife's uh, head and uh, said, Dad, take pictures, take as many as you want. And that's all I seen was this little girl with bent arms and bent legs and she was intubated too. And uh, I took the pictures and then the doctor said, follow me dad. And we rushed down the hall. And as we were running down the hall, he's explaining uh, what's wrong with Olivia, that she has arthrogryposis. And I still, it took me about three days to figure out how to say arthrogryposis. And about an hour later, Michelle came in the room and uh, and then the doctors came in the room and explained that Michelle was out, so she doesn't remember any of that. And they were gonna transfer her to Children's Hospital. So Michelle's mom stayed with Michelle and me and her dad went over to Driscoll's Children's Hospital and whatnot. And we still didn't have any information of what was going on besides that. It wasn't until about 12 hours later that doctors explained to us that she had breathing issues um, because of um, the arthrogryposis. She had it in all four limbs and in her chest. So it was, her chest wasn't going up and down like yours and mine does. And she was having a hard time breathing. That's why they had to intubate her. During that day, I finally got the chance to go visit Liv. They called an ambulance just for me and took me across town to the Children's Hospital so I could go up and meet her. It was the first time Michelle met her daughter and it was 36 hours later after she was born. She, she didn't get that holding her baby when her baby was born or anything. Neither one of us did. That was the hardest part. We did eventually get to hold Liv, but it took a month. Well, after going back a little bit, after, after a month of tests and procedures and trying to figure out what was wrong with Olivia at Driscoll, Children's Hospital in Corpus, they basically told us that they couldn't do anything for her. There's nothing else we can do for her here. The only thing we could tell you is to get her transferred to a bigger, better hospital. And Houston was uh, the option given to us. So within about 12 hours, she was on a plane flying to Houston. And they got checked in on a Thursday in Houston and that next day, 32 days later, was the first day mom was able to hold her baby. 32 days later. Good day. When they found out that we hadn't held Olivia yet, they thought that was just... They made sure that became a priority. That was priority number one for them. Um, Olivia had many ups and downs. Olivia gave me all this gray hair and uh, stuff because I didn't have any before her, but... <laughs> I uh, I love each and every one of those right now, but she uh, 
had a lot of ups and downs and still in Houston and Houston is an awesome hospital and we love everybody in Houston but they still had a hard time figuring out Olivia and she had 15 or 20 doctors throughout her time and it was just they all had the same comment when they were done boy is she difficult with the arthroposis and other issues or breathing issues they just couldn't figure out why nothing was working she wouldn't eat she wouldn't do anything everything just seemed to be made a lot more difficult because of the arthroposis we had lots of support coming in and out but it was hard with that we were a two-person team here and the we had a lot of great nurses and doctors in houston that we relied on they became our family and also our facebook family um when we found out Olivia had arthrogryposis, we started looking at arthrogryposis and the first two things we found was a website, AMCSI. So arthrogryposis, Multiplex Congenita Support Inc. And we found Ward Foley, some crazy old guy. <laughs> um, and those two websites gave us a lot of hope and then we started connecting with people through those websites on Facebook. And then we found out there was a conference in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We knew I had to go because mom wasn't, um, mama beer wasn't leaving baby beer. So that, so I'm going to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And my brother Brian said, I'll go with you. I want to say I was speechless when I walked in that door and signed up to do the silent auction because I wanted to be there somewhere so I could meet everybody that was coming in. And then I met, Scott and Summer, Summer blew my mind. She, how happy she was, full of life, and she didn't let anything stop her. It was, it really, that was my daughter in 20, 30 years. And I would have been proud of that. I mean, it really, she really touched my heart. And meeting everybody through conference, it's, it's our extended family now. God and Olivia picked them for us. And coming back and got back to Houston, told Michelle that we have somebody coming to visit us. There's uh, somebody's gonna come and visit us and they wanna see Liv. And uh, I think it was a day or two days later after I got back, um, Misha and Mike came to visit Olivia and that did two things or probably more than a couple of two things first of all my it was my first time that my wife has physically seen somebody with arthrogryposis and it was the first time that many of the doctors and nurses seen ever since that we've had a connection with them and the whole arthrogryposis community liv's facebook page went 600. i mean everybody was following liv's story Everybody sending his messages. The support was actually overwhelming at times. I mean, it was crazy. There's a lot of support in AMCSI. I mean, the key word is support and there's a lot of support. I mean, we love each and every one of you guys and you guys mean the world to us. But over the next, uh, after I got back from conference, um, the rest of July and August were tough. I had lots of hard decisions to make then. Her doctor said, well, we have to give her a trach. She won't make it. She needs a trach and she needs a G-tube so she can breathe and eat. So we scheduled the trach and G-tube and um, the doctor comes out and tells us that, and basically that we got the trach in. Normally they go vertical up and down with a um, um, trach insert. Um, because of the arthroposis and the tight skin and her having no neck. And she was rather swollen. She, they had to go side by side. Basically, the doctor told us that they, she was going to stop and not put in the trach. And then she called the NICU doctor, Olive's, doc, Olive's doctor, and he said, well, if you don't put in the trach, she's going to die tomorrow. The arthroposis causing the difficulty with her body structure and stuff. Getting the trach in did stress her out. And um, about a week after that, she uh, developed pneumonia and uh, had pneumonia for about uh, three weeks. 
And but that last week, she um, wasn't releasing her fluid because I mean she wasn't moving. So all the fluid that they were feeding her nutrition wise through the IV was it was staying with her because she wasn't. She was always on a high dose of diuretics, always just trying to get the fluid off, get it off, and every time they get it down, it'd come right back. August 22nd, me and, my ma me and Michelle looked at her doctor and said, is it time? Because we knew it was. And he said, we're not there yet. I go, you'll tell us if we are. And he goes, yes, I will. I go, we need to get grandparents here and stuff here and you know, whatever. Of all the times we were told she was going to pass, which was a lot, they said it multiple times. When it actually did happen, we know it. No one needed to tell you. You knew. You knew. So the next day, the twenty third, Doctor Davy said it was time. We had already called the grandparents. We they called. They were already coming. They were already on their way. They were being. They were going to be there because we knew. We knew. Live. I mean, we knew her. Her kidneys were failing. Um, she wasn't producing urine anymore. She was getting very swollen. Just things were starting to shut down. So on uh, August 24th, I have to say it was something else. It was not the day I imagined, which I be, I'm incredibly thankful for. Not only were me and Michelle there, my parents were there, Michelle's parents were there. So Liv had her parents and all four grandparents. And all of her doctors and, and all nurses. Of her nurses. Not only the nurses and doctors that were on shift that day. They came on their day off. They, they came on their day off. We had interns. Everyone was in love with student, that. student doctors and interns. Liv had a party. Liv went out in style. We she, read her stories. We gave her hugs. We made molds of her hands and feet. We had a good time with her. We took pictures and told stories. And I mean, she took over the NICU that day. There and was a crowd of people. Just there to love her. Texas Children's Hospital was amazing. And the people they have there made her last day the best possible day it could be. It was it was a heart wrenching and horrible day that I don't wish upon any parent. But they made it the happiest day that it could be. And uh, after the cuddles were done and everything, they um, disconnected her trach and she went peacefully. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.
Where do they go? To amcprincessanna.com. www.amcprincessanna.com. Go vote.